Hello YouTube, I'm Jish and welcome back to the channel. We're here today in the workshop and it is freezing cold. I mean like minus four, minus five degrees, but that's not gonna stop us. We're here to work on the GS250 and hopefully get this engine running sweet. So let's roll the intro and get straight into this video. Before we get started, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone who subscribed to this channel. We finally hit 50,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers. And I just want to say how much this actually means to me in helping this channel grow and move forward. So thank you, it really means the world. So as a thank you, I'd like to give back to you with a giveaway. Because so many of you are wanting to build your own bikes and start your own build, I'm giving you the chance to win this book to help you get started. This is How to Build a Motorcycle by Gary Inman. It is such a nice put together book with some really cool illustrations. And I just wanna give back to you guys for helping this channel grow. All you gotta do is follow the link down below, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Instagram, and that is it. You are entered. I will ship this book worldwide, so good luck and thank you again. So, in the last video, we got the bike stripped down and started looking at getting it running right. And I mentioned when I bought the bike, I was told of a cam chain issue potentially. Now we've taken the head off, we've had a look, we've checked the actual slack of the chain and it does seem okay, but I'm not convinced. It's still making a real tappy noise and I wanna look deeper. Now what we're gonna do is check the valve clearances because it does sound like there might be a sticky tappet. So I wanna make sure that is the case. And if not, we will go further and look deeper into what the noise could be so so let's get the head off and have a look so that is the valves all clearance checked and done everything by the book, because I've got myself a haze manual and it, these things are an absolute must when you're building bikes. They give you all the information you need, again, from everything, including the valve clearances. Now, I've made sure everything is smack on and I have checked it off camera and the bike is still not sounding great. So yeah, it's time to start looking a bit deeper into the engine and hopefully it's not gonna be bores or pistons or something like that. I'm hoping it's gonna be the actual tensioner system itself because remember this is a 40 plus year bike and as parts do wear springs do lose their tension and so on so that is going to be the next plan of attack so i've ordered a load of parts from cms thanks for this little guy and basically these are just some parts that were looking a bit trash on the bike so i put those to one side again with that i have bought some exhaust gaskets for the bike but i do not believe that it is the case but i have bought them just in case but the thing we're going to be looking at mainly today is these parts here for the cam chain tensioner we've got some seals a spring and just another gasket so what we're going to do is take off the cam chain tensioner replace some of the parts for new and hopefully that gets it all running we are sweet if not we're going to be pulling this engine out yeah could go good could go bad who knows but that's what we're here this is the part of the process of building these bikes you've got to get everything just right so let's just get straight into the video. So that is the bike back together. 
with the new cam chain tensioner. I'm not even gonna say it's a full rebuild. It was a literal spring gasket and a, and a rubber seal. There is more to it to that, but for now, that's all that really needed to be looked at. As you saw, we also put some new spark plugs in. Just I wanted to make sure they were the correct ones and there was no gap problems or clearance issues or anything like that because you never know what these bikes have been through in the past you don't know who's done them what's been done all that sort of thing so it's good to just change the basics and just check over everything and that's what we've done so now what i've done is just put the tank on loosely and we're going to get it fired up and see if we can hear any noises if we do hear noises we know it's most likely not going to be the cam chain tensioner and it's probably going to be a bigger job and more like piston rings, warm bearings, something along those lines. But either way, we need to get this bike fired up and we can see if that's cured it. So that didn't sound too good, unfortunately. The still tapping there. And as you can hear yourself, it's with the revs. Once you pull, once you give it some revs, it starts tapping on idle, lower down, it's not so bad. We've adjusted the valve clearances. We've done the chain tension. We've done the chain tensioner spring and all those things. So regardless of it running okay or not, we're gonna be pulling the engine out because obviously we wanna get this bike stripped down and built back from the ground up. So that's the next thing we're gonna do. We're just gonna pull the engine out and Eventually, we'll have a closer look and see what we can find. So, yeah, it's not all bad news. But before we go any further, I'd like to say thank you to the guys over at Skillshare for sponsoring this video. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be on this learning journey to get building, to get stuck in and make something of this channel. Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives where millions come together to take the next step in their creative journey. Skillshare offer thousands of inspiring courses to suit your needs, whether it be bike building, 3D printing, 3D modeling, photography, videography, or just anything that you're into. You can work towards real skills and real achievements. From beginners to master courses, it's all there. Right now I'm learning a bit more 3D modeling so I can actually make some better 3D printed parts. Specifically this course, with its bite-sized, easy to learn classes, it makes it so simple to follow along. And Skillshare is kindly offering the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link down below, a free trial of premium membership. It's so simple and so easy, and you will not regret it. So thank you once again for Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It really means the world. So let's get back to the video and get this engine out. So that was pretty straightforward to get the engine out. I mean, these bikes are known to be quite easy to work on, but yeah, that was pretty hassle. But we've got the engine out on the bench, which means we can actually start looking at it closely, inspecting it, making sure that it's all top tip, and then eventually it'll all go back in the bike, everything nice and new, and we'll have a cool bike for this summer. So that's the plan. That is always gonna be the plan. Either way, I'm having fun doing this. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you check out the giveaway. And as always, I shall see you in the next video.